have been uploaded in the description of video. Please download your notes. Dear students, in this chapter of sexual reproduction in angiosperms, today we will clear structure of anther. Now down in our last lecture, we have discussed structure of stamen. Dear students, structure of stamen, microsporophyll or androecium, that consists of two parts. This lower sterile part is filament and this upper fertile part it is anther. In this lecture, I will clear all about anther, its structure. Dear students, this anther, as we know it is fertile part of a stamen and each anther, generally each anther consists of two lobes. The condition is bithecus or it is dithecus. Dear students, note down all competitive exam students, anther that is fertile part of a stamen or microsporophyll because it is a modification of leaf and that leaf produce pollen grains, pollens or microspores. So it is microsporophyll or it is stamen as it represents male sex organs, male reproductive organ of a flower. So it is collectively named androecium. Dear students, this stamen its upper fertile part that is anther generally anther consists of two lobes one two and these two anther lobes the condition is bithecus dithecus each anther lobe no down competitive students each anther lobe consists of one two pollen chambers pollen sacs or microsporangia it means in a bithecus an anther having two anther lobes then one, two, three, four pollen chambers are present. The condition is tetrasporangia. Dear students, each anther, generally it is bi, bilobed. It is bithecus, it is dithecus and each anther lobe, two pollen chambers, two microsporangia, so two both anther lobes having four pollen chambers, four pollen sacs or microsporangia. The condition is tetrasporangiate. But in, in an anther having only one anther lobe, dear students, only one anther lobe, that is a characteristic of family Malvesi. Each anther having one lobe instead of two, so the condition is monothecus and in one anther lobe only two microsporangia. So in case of family Malvesi, only one anther lobe, it is monothecus and in a monothecus only two pollen chambers. The condition is bisporangiate. But generally two anther lobes four pollen chambers. It is tetrasporangiate. While in case of arsuthobium, dear students, only one pollen chamber, only one microsporangium per anther. It is monosporangiate condition in arsuthobium. But in family Malvesi, some examples of family Malvesi like china rose, shoe flower, hibiscus, all the only one anther lobe and that anther lobe having two pollen chambers, one, two, it is bisporangiate. Both anther lobes are separated by this common sterile strand. This is a connective. In that connective, vascular bundle, vascular strand is there that provides nourishment, that provides water and food supply to the anther lobes. Dear students, this is structure of, it is transverse section of young anther. And each anther having two anther lobes and in both lobes, one, two, three, four pollen chambers, pollen sacs or microsporangia. Dear students, it is tetrasporangiate condition. And each pollen sac, each microsporangium having two parts, 
not only each microsporangium having two parts outer part that is wall and this central inner part it is microsporogenous tissue dear students this outer part consists of wall and the wall is further consists of four types of layers four types of layer each and every point not down all competitive exam students each microsporangium having two parts this central part is this inner part is it is microsporogenous tissue and this outer part it is wall of microsporangium and wall of a microsporangium that consists of four parts this outer layer is it is epidermis then the next layer is it is endothelium dear students this endothelium having large size of cells but between two microsporangia between two pollen sacs here at this junction this endothelium that endothelium becomes thin that represents a stomium or it is a line of dicense at this point at the time of maturation ripening of anther both the anther lobes or these pollen chambers dihist to disperse the pollen to disperse the microspores or pollen grains this point is this is line of dicense at this point the anther lobes break up dear students next layer is this outermost layer it is epidermis next to is endothelium and then the third wall layer that is middle layer and that middle layer may be one to three layers not down this outer wall layer it is epidermis the next is endothelium and dear student this endothelium between two microsporangia at this junction that becomes thin that represents it is stomium or it is line of dicense which involves in the rupturing of anther wall dear student the next third wall layer it is middle layer and this middle layer consists of one two three layers all these middle layers it cells degenerate to provide the nourishment to this sporogenous tissue the pollen mother cells the microspore mother cells and the innermost layer this innermost wall layer of this pollen sac that is tapetum very important very important this innermost wall layer it is tapetum dear students this tapetum is of two types it may be amoeboid invasive or it is periplasmodium and second type is secretory glandular or parieter this tapetum is of two types either it is amoeboid its amoeboid cells fuse to produce a periplasmodium and that periplasmodium pass enter in this sporogenous tissue to provide nourishment to the pollen mother cells and pollen grains the second type of tapetum that is secretory that is granular or it is parietal that secretes nutrients for the pollen mother cells or this the developing pollen not down the tapetum performs following functions all competitive exam students each and every point note down the tape term this inner wall that tape term its cells may be multi nucleated dear students this tape term its cells are larger in size and these cells are either multi nucleated having several nuclei or their nucleus is polyploid generally a cell having two sets of chromosomes 
but competitive exam students the tip tell cells are polyploid having more than two sets of chromosomes at this condition polyploid it develops due to endoploidy this tiptum that performs several functions first one is the tiptum provides nourishment to the developing pollen grains to the pollen mother cells <clears throat> second point is secretory cells of tiptum Tapetal cells also secretes some chemicals, hormones like indoleacetic acid, the growth hormones for the growth and differentiation of pollen grains. Next point is the tapetum secretes lipid rich granules. Competitive exam students, the lipid rich granules which are produced by the tape tail cells are known as ubis granules and the ubis granules are involved in the formation of sporopollenin sporopollenin that is a part of eggzyme eggzyme it is outer covering of pollens and that sporopollenin that is highly resistant chemical substance which protects which resist the pollens in unfavorable conditions dear students the pollens particularly the pollens which are carried by insects the entomophilus pollens and over these entomophilus pollens there is an outer oily secretion and that oily and sticky secretion that is produced by tape term so the pollens are easily carried by insects that is named pollen kit note down another point another important point the tape term also secretes an enzyme that is calase and dear students that calase enzyme involves in the degradation of cell wall between the tetrad pollen tetrad because each pollen each pollen Doubles from a pollen mother cell, microspore mother cell, and that pollen mother cell produces a group of four pollens that is tetrad. After maturation, ripening, the tetrad is separated, the walls are degraded, and that degradation of tetrad wall that is carried by an enzyme that is calase and the calase enzyme is produced by tape term this is all about structure of anther stamen and this is the dihist anther transverse sections showing pollen sacs and between these pollen sacs the sterile tissue that is connective in that connective a vascular strand through which supply of water and nutrients takes place.